Hi, uh, this is Brad uh, with Honey Corporation. Today I'm going to introduce you our new model auto perimeter. And uh, this auto perimeter it comes with four parts as standard configuration. And it has mouse and a keyboard, eye patch, and also the whole machine. And as you can see, actually it has a 14 inch touch screen. And then at the bottom, there are two buttons. This button is for the power and this button it has four navigation keys to control the adjustment of the chin rest and head rest. The center button is for the switch between auto adjustment and also manual adjustment. On this side, there are four USB ports that you can uh, put in the USB drive for storage and the copy and also data transfer. And this one is for the receiver of the keyboard. This one is the Ethernet that you can connect the machine to internet and also it's reserved for the DICOM compatibility. This is the main power button. Uh, once it is set up, you just turn it on and leave it there. No need to turn it off again. And this is the power port. On this side, it is chain rest and head rest. This is a responder for the patient to do the test. You just push like this. And then inside there is a refractive lens holder, like this. And it is for those who are nearsighted or farsighted. Power on. And push this button to turn on. So, and this is a Windows operating system based. And this is the icon of the software. So you just double tap it and you run the software. And also, you need to enter the password. We need to use the keyboard. One, two, three, three, two, one. Okay, so we enter into the main working interface of the software. And on the top, there are six icons, as you can see. The first one is new to create the patient profile. And then the waiting room, examine, archives for the test report, and also set up. And then the last one is close to exit from the uh, working interface. Now let's just uh, create a new patient. So you just uh, click the new. So you just put a name over here. So my name is Brad. So we just uh, put Brad. And then you can just put a phone number. I mean, your own phone number, that'll be okay. And choose gender. And for the age and the birth, you can just enter only one data, then the other one will be calculated automatically. Say, for example, age is like 40. And then for the birth, you will just, uh, it will be automatically calculated. And uh, for doctor, so you can choose any doctor name that you want to put in and then choose the eye, left eye, for example. And for the program, this is a defaulting, default testing program, and it's C40, and you can just uh, click to drop down the menu, then you can just scroll down, up and down to choose the testing program you want. And also, for the testing program, here, and you just touch it, there will be a uh, detail the testing program available to give you an idea. And we have threshold testing programs. Actually, in total, we have 22 testing programs available. And it has like a threshold testing program, a screening testing program, special test program, and a custom test, test program. And for the threshold testing program, there are six, and they are 30 by two, and 60 by four, 10 by two, 24 by two, micro and needle step. And then for the screening test program, okay, and there are also seven, seven testing programs as well, like C40, C76, P60, and nasal step FF81, FF120, FF135. And there are also some special testing programs available. Okay, well, we have six, and then like instrument monocular, instrument binocular, superior 36, driver quick test, driver test, and also horizontal driver test. And then there's custom one. 
which you can custom by yourself as well. So you just uh, okay. Let's for example we choose six. Uh, you normally we choose twenty four by two because this is a typical testing programs for the glaucoma test. And on the right side, you just uh, for those who are near sighted or far sighted, you just uh, enter the your the optors degrees. And then once everything is done, you just start check. So this is a testing program interface, and uh, on this section there are like the false positive count, false negative count, fixation loss rate, and uh, this is the uh, for the adjustment of the chin rest and the head rest as well. So you can just either touch down the buttons over here, and or you can just uh, choose the buttons over here. And then once everything is ready, you just uh, click stop. So this unit it has the voice prompts a function available. Because right now the ambient light is too strong, so you just remind you it's too strong. Okay. And uh, then you just use the responder and to the test. Okay, there is some uh, values over here, so you can just continue to do the test until it is finished, and uh, then we should stop. So once the test is finished, then you can just go to the archives. Here in the archives, we have a test report available already, so you just uh, select it, and then you can just see. Uh, to, to do the diagnosis. So at the bottom, and there's a pop-out window, so you can just enter the diagnosis and based on the doctor, and then you can just put anything you want over here. And then you click OK. So this is, uh, and then you can just, uh, there is a report section. And then this is the report format. And uh, for the report format, on the right, there are some options for you to choose. The one is save as, so you can just export the uh, test report. Like save as, and then you can save to any folder you want. And as regards format, there is a, we have a PDF, and then you click the drop down list, then you can see it has the PNG, and also the NDR. So we have three format available that you can export a test report. And also you can zoom in. So you can make it bigger and smaller and zoom out. So for the reports, in uh, on the top there are some uh, parameters sections over here, like the fixation and also false positive count errors and the false negative count errors. And then you can just scroll down to check the report. And then over here, it has like the VFI index available and then the GAT available and also the MD and PSD available too. This is the gaze checking curve by which you can also determine whether the test report is reliable or not. So this is the test report. And then we can click return. And uh, for the waiting room, so if there are many people lining up to do the test today, and you can just enter I mean, their information into the prof uh, patient profile, so that when the patient is ready, you can just uh, select there, select it directly, and then start check right away so to save you some time. And uh, for the Examine so this exam interface just now I showed you already. So we we'll go to next and then set up. 
this is setting up interface. So right now for the language, we only have the English. And then if you have any other languages requests, we can also make that for you. You just need to send us the translation. Then we can just customize that for you. And for the hospital name, you can just enter your hospital name and default testing program here, you just set it up. So you choose one. So we choose like a 24 by 2. And then for the tracking curve and ambient light, usually we check, just check the box in the front. And also for the voice, end voice, begin voice, and end move, etc. So we, you will just select them all. And then also here, there is a system information. It will just tells you the uh, version number and also program. So you can just customize, test the program over here. And uh, so this is pretty much about the uh, software working interface for everything. And then you just close that to exit the software. And also there are another thing, two things I want to just tell you, which is the for the after sale service. And for the software issues, if there's anything going wrong, we just have the team we are built in already. So you can just send us connect the unit to the internet and send us the password. Then we our technical guy they can access to your laptop to your computer to the, this machine remotely and then they can fix the issues there. And also for the hardware issue, if there's anything going wrong, and uh, this unit, we adopt the modularized design. So any parts can be detached separately. So you can just detach the main board and also camera, etc. And then you can send, that, send back to us. We just get it repaired and send, send back to you. So you don't have to send the whole machine back. So this is also uh, facilitates everything for the out of sale service service and uh, so this is pretty much about everything uh, for this unit